you get what you expect. It's all about clear expectations and no uncertain terms, exactly what you expect and when. And you know, if you have an organization you're trying to grow, scale, uh, if you've got a new hire, uh, whatever it is you're trying to do, if you're not getting the desired outcome, the first thing you need to look at is what was the expectation? A lot of companies make the mistake of hiring people and putting them in a position and don't even don't even train them, don't even tell them what the expectations are, what they're looking for, um, you know, what their job is very specifically, very clearly defined all the way down to every single little task that they expect them to do. And you really have to, I mean, at the end of the day, you get what you expect. So if you don't lay out any expectations, then how can you expect to get any kind of an outcome? So let's just take a new hire, new employee uh, that you're putting in a role. So you, you, you got to make sure you tell them exactly what you need them to do, exactly how you need them to do it, and you need to create that system for it. And if there's not a clearly defined system and process for everything that that person is supposed to do in their job, and I mean down to the minute detail, then uh, it's a failure on your part to define what the expectations are so that when something breaks down, you can measure that performance against the expectation and find out what's going on. So if you've laid out clear direction in uncertain terms, in other words, uh, let's say you're re, you know, remodeling a house or building a house or doing whatever, and it's like, okay, Mr. Plumber, I need you there Wednesday at 8 a.m. and I need you out Thursday by 5 p.m. so I can have the electricians and everybody else start behind you. That's a clear expectation, very clear, and what you expect and when. Then you're going to measure that performance. If it's, if it's within your company and you have a marketing director and the expectation is you have all of these campaigns that are supposed to be out by a certain date and everything and, you know, say, hey, I need the YouTube posted by two o'clock today. Also need that on the podcast within 10 minutes after that. Also need that cut up into Instagram pieces by the end of the day. So all of that has been laid out very clearly in terms of what you expect and when. That individual should have gone through a training process where performing all those tasks are clearly laid out and defined and they know how to do it, including screenshots if they don't know how to do it. Uh, so that if they're sick, they leave, whatever happens, you've got a system in place that anybody can step into that seat and they can follow the procedure and the processes and, and be able to do the job. So let's say you've laid that out and you didn't get the result. Then you have to look at it. Well, you know, you gave them the tools, training systems, and support to be successful, tools, training systems, and support to be successful. You've given them that, you, you know, the training's there, everything's there. Then you got to look at the individual. Do you have a can't do or do you have a won't do? If you have a can't do, then you have to find out where the breakdown is, why they can't do it. Then you either retrain or you need to put them in another position. If you have a won't do, you get rid of them. There's nothing you can do with a won't do. You cannot train attitude. Attitude is 100% of the game. We'll talk about attitude on another day, but you can't retrain attitude. If you have a won't do, you get rid of them. You should have never hired them in the first place. You got to figure out how to discern can't do's and won't do's. If it's a can't do, then you have to figure out what, why they can't do the job. And it might be that you have the wrong person in the wrong position. There's a saying in the industry, there's a phrase that I use called aces in places. You want your best people in the best possible role for them to succeed. It's all about managing your human capital. You don't work on the business, you work on the people in your business. It starts with recruiting, hiring, training the right people, giving them clear direction and no uncertain terms exactly what's expected and when, but more importantly, measuring that performance, measuring the behavior against the outcome to measure that performance, provide the feedback. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. And then you praise the good, good performance, redirect the bad performance. If you're not getting the result you're looking for and you've given them everything they need, they still can't do it, won't do's, you're gone. Can't do's, maybe they're in the wrong position. So you need to make sure that you're putting the right people in the right place for them to be successful. Forget weaknesses and building weaknesses and training and cross training. Hire the strength, put them in the position where they're going to be the most successful, the most useful, play to their strengths, not their weaknesses, aces in places all the time. That's how you win.